Hello and welcome to Cloud NGFW Nuggets. Today, we will cover the Cloud NGFW for the AWS Egress NAT feature. In the realm of cloud computing, Network Address Translation, or NAT, holds significant importance as it facilitates the secure and controlled access of private network resources to the Internet. This is especially crucial for applications residing in a private subnet that necessitate internet connectivity for tasks such as receiving operating system updates and executing application upgrades. In such scenarios, these applications are usually positioned behind a NAT gateway to ensure a secure and controlled environment while enabling internet access. With the introduction of the new egress NAT feature, Customers now have two options for implementing SourceNet on outbound traffic to public destinations. The first option is to continue using the AWS NAT gateway in their VPC. In this setup, the Cloud NGFW serves as a bump in the wire, directing all inspected traffic back to its endpoint. From there, the traffic is routed to the AWS NAT gateway. The second option is to utilize the new Cloud NGFW egress NAT feature. In this scenario, the Cloud NGFW resource does not redirect the inspected traffic back to the endpoint. Instead, the inspected egress traffic is sent directly to the Internet. By selecting this option, you will no longer have to pay for AWS NAT Gateway. You will have two options to associate public IP addresses with the Cloud NGFW resource. First, configure the Cloud NGFW resource to use Palo Alto Network's managed AWS Elastic IP addresses for SourceNet and their VPC. Second, transfer bring your own IPs to the Cloud NGFW from your AWS account. You can create a new Cloud NGFW resource with EgressNet or enable it on an existing one. Let's dive into enabling the EgressNet feature. For today's demo, we will use the following topology. A virtual machine, VM, is situated in a private subnet. We will deploy the Cloud NGFW endpoint in the firewall subnet to inspect the egress traffic. The firewall resource will examine the egress internet traffic and perform network address translation, NAT, to enable the VM to perform a YUM update. To create a new source with the egress NAT feature, log in to the Cloud NGFW tenant Navigate to the NGFW section and ensure you are in the correct region. After confirming the region, click Create Firewall and provide a name for your firewall. In the Policy Management section, you can choose to use a local rule stack or manage policies from Strata Cloud Manager or Panorama. For this demo, we will select Panorama. Then move to the Egress NAT section and enable it choosing the public IPs option that best suits your requirements. You can use Palo Alto Network's managed AWS Elastic IP or transfer your Bing your own IPs to the Cloud NGFW from your AWS account. Next, in the Endpoint Management section, you have the option to deploy the Cloud NGFW endpoint yourself from the AWS console or allow the Cloud NGFW service to do so for you. Additionally, You'll need to select your AWS account to associate with the resource and the VPC where you want to deploy endpoints. If you choose to deploy the endpoints from the AWS console, select the Availability Zones AZs, where you want to create the endpoints. If you opt to allow the service to deploy the endpoints, you can select the subnets from the drop-down menu where you want the service to deploy them. After configuring the parameters, Click Save to initiate the Cloud NGFW provisioning process. After creating the firewall resource, you can configure Egress Network Address Translation NAT, for individual endpoints in the Endpoint Management section located within the Firewall settings. Cloud Next Generation Firewall NGFW, gives you the ability to set the private traffic range for each endpoint. By default, the private traffic range prefixes consist of the VPC-allowed IP address ranges as defined by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. If your organization utilizes public IP ranges in both the Virtual Private Cloud VPC, and on-premises environments, you will be required to explicitly specify those IP prefixes, either one by one or as aggregate ranges. You have the flexibility to toggle EgressNet on or off for each endpoint. This feature is helpful in deactivating NAT for endpoints that do not need to receive egress traffic, 
We have created a basic allow policy in Panorama to test whether the VM in the private subnet can access the internet for YUM updates. Now, let's try to do a YUM update. You can see that all packages in the Linux VM are successfully updated. To verify the egressnet functionality, you can review the firewall logs to observe the cloud. Next generation firewall resource executing the network address translation process. This will help in confirming that the NAT functionality is functioning as intended. This concludes our demo. For more information about the cloud NGFW for AWS service, please visit the live community page. Thank you for watching this video.